I think it's amazing, you know, I, I usually say to people, I, I have lots of friends and I get them to line up to make, them, <laughs> to make me look popular. But it is, I mean, the story of Boba Fett. I think when they re-released the films in 96, suddenly there was a new audience and they were beginning to say, who's this character? Very little to do, but it was all, he's shadowy, he's moving all the time, but very slowly, but he, he's dangerous. And people like that, kids love it. I mean, it's either the 35 year olds who say, Cardi, you're, you're so cool, but they don't want to tell anyone else that, they're, that you are cool. And then you have the little five year olds, you know, Boba Fett, and they have these big, huge helmets they buy. It is extraordinary, last, last 10 years or so, being invited everywhere around the world. Do you ever think when you signed on to play Boba Fett that it would be like this? No, I didn't think it was going to be like this. I thought they might say, would you come and open our school, maybe to that length, and you'd sit there signing for a while and chatting and give a speech or something. But not, not to this. I mean, to look around here is a giant. People from all over Europe as well. What do you think it is about the Star Wars universe that's been so popular and so beloved all over the years? Star Wars is purely... it's. Um, it's a science fiction film. It's like uh, the big, tall Darth Vader, Princess Leia, the prince, you know, dear old Harrison Ford. It's, it's an old story told in space, and I think it's non-violent. I know that sounds funny when you see a sort of bloody arm in the, in the last one, Revenge of the Sith, but the, it's pretend violence. The kids sort of say, I'm going to be a Stormbreaker, and you're going to be a Boba Fett. OK, I'll be good. It's, I did that pretending to ride a horse because I remember the Cisco kid <laughs> and the Lone Ranger shows how old I am. But that, that's what it's about. It's a fun, fun film and people, you can see so many people here dressed up. Of course you've got Star Wars coming back for three more episodes, J.J. Abrams directing at least the first one. What do you think about it coming back and what do you, kind of director do you think J.J. Abrams will make? It's not, up, it's not up to me, it's very nice of you to say what about coming back. If if it happened, it would, be, it would be great, but if it doesn't happen, I'm not going to be upset because doing the original three, uh, I think that, that was something. But I'd love to be involved in some, some way, you know, just maybe walking past the camera like this, you know, as you just drift away, just being cool. And they might say, that's the guy we want. You never know. Definitely. We'd love to see that happen. We've got to make that happen. I think Boba Fett's got to have a comeback. Yeah, but the best thing, you know that you have this possible problem the Boba Fett is there and he's being cool and they said oh and if, if you're sitting there with the helmet off they'll go hang on a second wait a minute oh it's him and people in the audience won't be listening to what's going on in the film so it's best to, to wait and see but thanks for asking for me I mean what do you think because there's been talk of Harrison Ford and Mark Hamill and of course Carrie Fisher as well making a comeback for the future episodes what do you think about that oh I think it's fantastic yeah I mean They've all got to try and look younger. I always thought maybe, I mean, they look pretty good. But you, you'd have the body and then just have a paint shop the face in. Maybe they can do that with technology. And with me, don't need it because I wear a helmet. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And what was it like wearing that outfit? Unbearable. I mean, I, people say, what was the costume like? Unbearable. It was just so heavy and you were sweating all the time. But I was Boba Fett. I had to stand strong and be cool.